No, this is a new story. I mean, it was an extraordinary move to strip him of his royal title, of his uh, military titles. Um, so that's why that led all the papers this morning. I mean, we have been, uh, Partygate has been going on now uh, since last month. So uh, yet another party isn't as big a story or as new a story as what happened to Prince Andrew. OK, I accept that. So despite that pause for what is a better breaking story to lead the papers, do you accept the principal charge that there is a collective desire in the media to get rid of Boris Johnson? No, I don't at all. Um, I mean, if you're looking for my personal view and that of the Sunday Mirrors, um, we would like to see Boris Johnson gone, but then we think that Keir Starmer would make a better prime minister. But this is not a conspiracy um, because we didn't organise the parties. These are at, the, the revelations are coming out as a, a drip by drip. Um, there's some new ones tonight on the Mirror website, for instance, that they held one every Friday even brought a, a wine chiller in so the booze could be cooled. Now, these are things that are happening in Downing Street. It's not something that the media has created. What we're doing is we're reporting on what is going on. But you know, I was going to say, you know as well as I do, you actually know better than I do, that, that all of that stuff was known by the people who were there or the people who were there and have now left... And the drip feed of it is almost like a grid ahead of a general election. The end game is to get rid of Boris and they'll drip this bit, they'll drip this bit. When Dominic Cummings gave evidence to the Science and Health Committee, he knew all of this and didn't breathe a word of it. It is a conspiracy. Well, it's absolutely true that Dominic Cummings did know about it. And it's also true that he's been putting out a great deal of the information uh, about these parties. Um, but that's Dominic Cummings uh, seeking revenge on the prime minister for getting rid of him. So that's a matter really for Dominic Cummings. I don't think that that, that that then translates into some kind of media conspiracy. Certainly we're using Dominic Cummings as a source, mm. but it doesn't mean we're creating it.